Hello everyone! Thank you for joining us at Some Good News. My name is Shelby Hobson and today I will be introducing Some Good News and also the story that is to follow. Some Good News is a news broadcast that reports on all the positive happenings, especially in Heartland. This is so important during this time because so many negative things have been happening it's important to focus on the positives and realize how many good things there are to be happy about. The next story by Marika Battaglia is all about how teachers have adapted to the COVID-19 pandemic and how they have been so supportive and truly heroes for their students. So please tune in and enjoy the story all about Heartland High School teachers. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Marika and I'm your student reporter. During the 2020-2021 school year, teachers and students alike have been trying to navigate the highs and lows of online learning. Due to COVID-19, Heartland High School is operating a hybrid-like learning system in which students can pick at the beginning of the semester whether they want to learn online or in person. Teachers have found great alternatives to the traditional classroom and they have adapted to the unpredictable climate we now live in. I spoke with three of my teachers to see what they thought about teaching during the pandemic. I spoke with Mr. Jackson, who's a physics teacher who's new to the Heartland school system, Ms. Dupong, who's an academic literacy teacher and an economics teacher who has been teaching for 15 years, and Ms. Shepard, who's the choir director and is going on her second year teaching. I asked each of them to reflect on the last day before schools got shut down last year, March 12th. Ms. Dupong said she went through the day as normal, trying to keep kids as calm as possible and not trying to spread any rumors about COVID. I, whenever I, as an adult, obviously as an educator, if I don't fully know if something's true or false, my job is to keep the room as calm as possible and try to filter out rumors as much as I can, but also to make sure that the kids feel safe and that they know that there's a lot of things we can't control, but when they're in my classroom, everything's going to be okay. Mr. Jackson said that by the 12th, there was a feeling that COVID was coming. So we knew and then it was sort of, uh, all right, everybody get flexible. Ms. Shepard, whose class I had been in at the time, said that because the week before schools were shut down, festival, a choir competition was canceled, she knew that all rehearsal plans were out the window. Um, the night before, I found out that our big event of the year, uh, choir festival, had been canceled. We've been preparing for a really long time and we had already had our concert sharing with everybody all of the music that we had prepared. So it was a really, it was a sad day. We talked a lot that day about how, yes, it's sad that our event was canceled and we really wanted to share our music and get feedback. But we also talked and I really loved how every, all six of my classes took it when I said we need to take care of our community. There have been many similarities in how teachers choose to handle teaching during the pandemic. According to Mr. Jackson, teaching as a whole feels different. It's hard to give the kids a space that is required with COVID while also keeping the kids engaged and helping them with individual questions. Even when we're in person, it's just there definitely is that feeling of like kind of people's space. When I taught physics last year, it was ninth grade, um, and so it was just, just teaching a different course. But Mr. Jackson found that because of all the pauses we had to take with schools, he's noticed that students have realized the passion that they have for learning. The, the thing that makes me the most happy is when you have kids that, like, frankly at this point are excited to go back to school. Learning can be fun. I've also noticed that because quarantine shut schools down for so long, students are really starting to appreciate their education. Mrs. Dupong, who I have previously mentioned has taught for 15 years, says that she misses the structure of a traditional classroom. As she says, I try my best to make lessons collaborative from where the students are, but I like to see kids work with other people. She continues saying that she wants to make sure her class is engaging, but also collaborative. And in this era of teaching, that can be really challenging. And one thing that you learn as you progress in this profession is that the connection to the students and the relationship with the students is where it's at. Um, you had me teach algebra, econ, English, Maybe I'd be better at some contents than others, but that connection and that relationship would always be the foundation. You know, my goal in my classroom is it for it to be a safe space and a calm space for my students. Ms. Shepard actually had a conversation with her students, and she said that she loved how the classes took the news when she explained that it is more important to protect the people around us during this time. When you're in the Zoom set setting, you guys are so, you're so polite. You know, like we can't have the same like back and forth conversation that we usually have 
I'm not hearing as much about people's lives, even though I'm seeing it more in the camera. As a last question for my teachers, I let them make up a quote that they think is inspiring or would give students hope during this COVID time. Ms. Shepard explained that. Well, here's the thing. I don't, I don't think I'm very inspirational. And I'm not necessarily very funny, but I am here. And that has to count for something. Ms. Shepard's quote is honestly very relatable. With this quote, I found myself reminded that as long as I'm doing my best and the best that I can do with the resources I've been given, I'm doing great. Mr. Jackson gives students hope by saying, Never underestimate humans' ability to overcome um, adversity. This helped me remember that in light of a new vaccine, humans have a bright future in dominating COVID. Ms. Dupong responded saying that, That this too shall pass. Like, we have to realize that, you know, the good things, they end, and the bad things will end too. The passage of time is very important, and I think that students need to remember that no matter what happens, just give it time and it will blow over. But Mr. Jackson actually had something to say about the Heartland school system as a whole, um, because this is his first year teaching at Heartland. He finished saying that- Coming from the district I did, being at Heartland, even in a very challenging year, is just, it's been so nice and it's been so positive for me. Like, I just couldn't be happier. Like, it's really nice being at Heartland. Overall, Heartland has fostered growth and a traditional classroom setting for all students. During this pandemic at Heartland schools, students can expect a high quality education with support from staff and fellow students alike.